Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Scorpio friends and friends of Scorpio. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So, Scorpio, if you guys are new here, I do channel messages, we go over some oracle cards, and then move into the tarot. If you're returning, good to see you guys again. I hope you're doing well. I have missed you, Scorpio. So, um, diving into your messages here in meditation, you guys, um, there were a few things that came through. Um, so the first thing, what I was told was erase cake and, um, cake, not like, um, the dessert cake is what was coming through, but like something caked at the bottom of a pan. Um, what came through as I sat on that was that you deserve more than like just what's scraped from the bottom of the pan. <laughs> uh, you deserve the whole cake, right? Not just whatever is left over or what wasn't able to be scraped off <laughs> by the baker, right? Um, so I'm kind of getting this feeling that maybe, maybe you're settling for something less than you deserve. Maybe you're aware of this. Maybe you're not aware that you do deserve more. Okay. Um, you have value. All right, Scorpio, no matter what you're doing, if you're breathing, you have value. Okay. So the next thing that came through was a captive audience and then to set them free. Um, my question on that was like, is there, is there somebody or something that needs to be released? I kind of get the feeling that uh, as far as like a captive audience goes, I feel like somebody is paying attention to you. You may be paying attention to somebody else too. And I don't, I don't get this as like, mm, you know, page of swords kind of energy where there may be, like spying or something going on. I just, um, I'm just getting the vibe that there's a request to kind of step back from where there might be too much attention being paid. Okay. Or that attention could be distributed somewhere else, like back to yourself. Um, and so sorry if <laughs> there is so much construction that's been going on, uh, quick little deep dive into my life here. Um, I've had issues with, <laughs> issues with the air conditioning here and we've had an insane heat wave that came to replace it it was the wrong plug-in um, so i've had people in and out here and then they're redoing the fence over by the pool out back here um, where i live and uh, it's just been construction going on constantly and i've been thinking well i'm going to take a second before i get to filming this but i feel like this is a part of the message too um, because there's not really a space for me to, like, I can't put my whole life on hold. Right. And I feel like, I feel like this is a message for you as well. Maybe you're going, um, feeling like you're going the, against the grain of something or you're, um, you're putting things on hold, you're pausing things. So other things can happen for others around you. Um, I am getting that message of like, there's never, there is never a perfect time, right? There may not ever be uh, perfect quiet, <laughs> right? Um, so sorry if that is distracting. I'm going to um, edit this to try to take out background noise, but it is what it is, Scorpio. So let's get into your Oracle cards. Blue Angel Oracle is what Spirit wanted to use for you today. So two did come out, um, A Night on Earth and Creation. And then I was told to pull another one here on camera, so we'll do that. But um, creation here. So this is all about, uh, it's poetics of light. And it's saying that something of value is forming in your subconscious. So uh, dream time is something that's coming through here. I don't feel like you're fully aware. You're either aware of what this is that's being created because you're intentionally manifesting that. You're using your, your conscious energy to um to utilize the manifesting power of the subconscious or it's something that's just building and you're not aware of it yet either way uh with with a night on earth here coming through as well this is a magical new beginning <laughs> so together i love this you guys there is a request for patience with the uh night on earth with a magical new beginning there's a request for patience that like what you're building is coming forward. Okay. So like I said, if you are aware that you are manifesting something, I love to see this. This is a heads up that it's, do it's doing something. Okay. It's going somewhere and you may not be feeling that way or you may not be seeing that. Um, 
I get, <laughs> as I'm listening to the jackhammer, I get that uh, maybe there is some frustration. Like there's just been this incessant hum. <laughs> there's been this incessant, bu uh, incessant buzz. Um, maybe you feel like all you're doing is talking and things aren't being produced. It's growing, okay? Something is growing. Something's coming. <laughs> all right, let's pull this extra. Ooh, I feel like this one here. Extra card here for you. Ooh, fertility, you guys. <laughs> yes. So fertility, I do, um, I'm curious what the, I open right to it. Look at that. Fruitful harvest, you guys. It is time to honor the sacred, okay, a time to honor the ancestors, thank the past, and embrace your golden future. Scorpio, I don't know what it is that you're working on here, but um, I love that combination of energies coming through. That tells me that, well, especially with the unconscious realm and fertility here. The unconscious realm is fertility. It is the divine feminine, right? The conscious realm is the masculine. The masculine impregnates the feminine, right? Conscious into the unconscious and the unconscious feeds the conscious and around and around we go. So I do feel like this is more for more of you, something that you are aware, you're, you're already conscious of that you're building, okay? Hang in there. Be patient. It is growing. It takes time for things to gestate, okay? So let's pull a Wild Unknown Animal Spirit card for you guys as well, and then we'll get into the tarot. What do we have for Scorpio, please, Spirit? For my Scorpio friends. I really hope that's not too loud. I can literally feel it. Um vibrating <laughs> uh we're having fun you know what i mean oh my gosh <laughs> okay um this is funny everything's funny everything's so funny right um so i was i'll show you these here in a second as i was meditating prior to filming here just to gather any additional messages um, i was shown an elk like full on facing me and in the phantasma deck we'll get to that we are using that tarot deck here as I was shuffling and I split it, it split to the emperor, which is there is an elk on there. Um, so this element of like power and control, I do feel that there is a request along with the patience and what is being created in your fertile ground um, to not try to control it too much. Like it knows how to grow, right? Your job is to stay consistent, to, to stay consistent about what it is that you're wanting to manifest. Um, so back to this though, elk came out here. That's why I think is, is very funny. So three of them actually fell out, elk, deer, and hyena. So what I'm getting from this, love this, love it. Um, the elk and the deer, very much like parent energies here, that conscious and unconscious realm. Like I said, this process where you are creating something, you're getting ready to birth something here soon. The deer is an energy of, is that divine feminine energy protecting what has uh, been born. So I feel like this is what's coming here. There is going to come a time where you'll be able to sigh is what I'm feeling. You get to sigh. There'll be a time where you're going to look back and go, um, I'm glad I hung in there, right? I'm glad that I stuck with what I believed was possible. Okay. Hyena coming through here. This is an energy of, uh, it is laughter play, but there's a request here for um, sobriety. Um, the hyena can utilize humor and jokes to cover up what may actually be hurting or what is in the unconscious realm or what's in the shadow realm that needs to be seen. So I do feel like there is a request here to pay attention to, um, to what you may be trying to cover up that needs to be seen as far as your own life goes, maybe pain, um, maybe even just recognizing that this is hard, right? Maybe there's a, an amount of compassion. I feel that with the deer too. There's an amount of compassion that's being requested for you guys right now. Um, and always we definitely grow better. This is actually well studied through compassion towards ourselves when things are hard rather than just pushing ourselves through things. It allows us space to feel heard, to be seen by ourselves, um, which is the most important, especially when maybe we aren't being seen by others. We have to take that charge ourselves first. That allows us space to feel what it is that we're feeling and then makes it easier for us to get back up 
and try again or continue on. See what I'm saying? Um, so compassion, you guys. I am going to read elk here in the book just because, like I said, it came through um, as kind of important. So let's see what it has to say. And this is the father energy too. So you have the deer and the elk, mother and father, like I said. Stable, resilient, headstrong, the father. Okay. <laughs> right on point. The great elk represents the earth element in its masculine form. This means it provides underlying support and stability amidst life's cha many changes. An elk personality, whether male or female, is fully established in themselves and knows their core values. Knows their value, you guys. <laughs> they become known and respected for acting in ways that uphold those values. Sometimes the elk's ego can become inflated, but for the most part, they make damn good fathers, mothers, lovers, and friends. The world needs more elk energy. So in balance, supportive, kind, and consistent... When out of balance, pretentious, high and mighty. So to bring into balance, eat and drink drink more consciously. And I feel like that's a call to um, be more conscious about all of your action. Like whether it is food and drink or activity that you're per uh, participating in or pursuing. I got kind of hung up there. With Hyena coming through with that note of, of sobriety to bring that energy into balance, there's a request for sobriety. There may be, some of you may be struggling with substance. Um, I don't feel like that's everybody in particular. It's more the call to pay attention to when, when emotions are coming up that are hard, when there are difficult emotions, when um, our inner child, inner components of ourselves are coming forward and saying, this is freaking hard. Um, are you acknowledging that? You know, are you recognizing that this is hard? Are you giving yourself compassion in that moment to be seen, to be heard? Or are you drowning it with drugs or alcohol or TV or your phone? You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not about shame or blame. This is just a request to love on ourselves a little bit more. All right. I love you, Scorpio, and I want you to love you, too. And if that's something that you are struggling with right now, um, please know that you do have value and you are absolutely worth loving. Okay. Mwah, mwah, mwah. All right. So let's get into your tarot messages here. My Scorpio friends, four of pentacles just flipped over. So your stability, um, security as well. Maybe part of what you're manifesting is in a financial vein. Something to do with work. What do I have here for Scorpio? This is the untamed tarot. And huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello. Thank you for your love and support. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there's a join button right next to the subscribe button under this video. And there's also a link in the description of the video if that button isn't there, because sometimes it's not. Feel free to check out my website. There's a link in the description of this video, too. If you're interested in personal readings, I do have those open and available. So Eight of Swords here on the bottom. This is your hope, hopes and dreams. Eight of Swords is getting trapped. It's feeling trapped in the mind. Uh, or it is a mind trap. I feel like you guys, as we're looking at whatever's, whatever magical new beginning is starting here in the unconscious realm, the conscious mind, I feel like, might be spiraling a little bit based on all of these cards that are coming through here. There's that request for patience and to have faith that what you're building is coming forward or that you're capable to build something or that you're worth having something come to you, right? Um, I feel like some of you might be feeling a little bit stuck and you're requesting or hoping to be free from that mental prison. You're hoping to see the way through. And I feel like that's coming forward here, okay? Coming to a theater near you soon. So this is the Phantasma deck we'll use for your second deck. Spirit, what do we have for Scorpio? For my Scorpio friends. And this is a general message, everybody. So please keep that in mind. You guys are extremely intelligent. Please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages might be for you. Eight of Wands here at the split. This is um, this is good news, okay? Positive news, um, positive forward movement, quick movement as well. In this deck in particular, it's like, She's creating something from her heart space. I feel like this is the expression of love that is being requested, that compassion that's being requested for you guys right now. There might be a little bit of um, fear 
or anxiety towards giving that to yourself. Maybe you're never taught how to do that. Maybe you don't know how. We're going to do it, okay? <laughs> um, check out your rising moon, Venus, any other major placements in your chart for a more complete picture of what's going on for you right now, my Scorpio friend. So eight of cups, lots of eights here, you guys. Eight, eight, eight. So abundance. I feel like abundance is coming forward for you guys. And this isn't just... This isn't just like you won the clearing house sweepstakes, right? Um, this is something that you have been working to create. This is being gestated, like I said, in your subconscious realm because you've impregnated. You've done this on purpose. You're not just accidentally falling into abundance, okay? This, this is confirmation for those of you who have been working towards something with intention and maybe finding that it's taking a while for something to come forward, this is your indication. Hang in there, okay? It's coming. It's growing. You'll see it. So Eight of Cups here at the bottom. Um, this is your fear aversion. Eight of Cups, this is, this is when we know that we need to walk away from something and may not be walking away from it or having trouble. Maybe some of you are struggling with something some substance-wise with that hyena coming through. Maybe there is a need for sobriety and it doesn't have to just be substances. Um, the chemicals in our body are substances, right? Uh, TV, our phone, computer, video games, there's anything, relationships, anything can produce dopamine or certain chemicals that the body tries to seek when it's seeking comfort, okay? So what I'm getting from this is just there's something that you know you need to let go of or you need to walk away from, let be. Maybe it's opening the oven door to see if this turkey's ready yet. <laughs> the turkey in the oven. Um, I feel like the anxiety towards that is just if, if I'm not on it all the time, will it ever show up? Or if you are working to leave something behind, will I ever be able to leave it behind? Okay, let's examine this a little bit further. So five of pentacles comes through here first in your general energy. So on top of the rest of the message here, this is being out in the cold, feeling abandoned potentially. The request or reminder here with the five of pentacles is that we have the key to this door. Either we have the key to this door to let us back into where it is we want to be, wherever it is that we feel we've been left out of, or the door's already open and we just need to make the choice to change rooms, right? This is coming down to your choice. So there is a request with, um, I love that the deer and the elk both came through here. There's this request to balance your conscious and unconscious actions. I feel like the unconscious right now, there's always stuff in the shadow we need to work through. But as far as this goal that you're working towards bringing forward, You've already, you've already impregnated it, okay? You've already put that into motion. Right now, what is needed is the conscious action of staying committed to yourself, staying consistent, okay? I'm getting very like uh, Knight of Pentacles energy. That plan that we create and then take steps on a day-to-day -day basis, however mundane they may be, to bring us closer towards that goal. Slow and steady wins the race. But the request here, like your freedom here is in, is in your own hands. Whatever that looks like to you right now. Whatever that looks like, Scorpio. Four of Swords here as well. So um, Four of Swords, this is rest. A break, recharging, relaxing. Um, I feel like this is a gift that needs to be given to yourself here too. So we can't, we can't always be on either. Kind of back to the Knight of Pentacles. There's this plan that we put in motion. What I'm thinking of is like, um, like a, a diet and exercise program. Hmm? Or let's say you got a new apartment and um, you have no furniture and you want to furnish that. There are things that take time, right? Unless you have, I don't know, all the money in the bank to just go furnish a full place, which that's great and it's wonderful. Um, something more standard would be like every single month, um, every single paycheck, maybe you're putting a little bit aside to go towards new furniture. That's the mundane plan that you're putting into motion to get what it is that you want. Um, diet and exercise, we're not going to be able to 
do such a hard workout that all of a sudden we're going to have abs afterwards, right? <laughs> it takes time and dedication to make those kinds of changes. A meditation practice, anything, anything that we're looking to change, um, it takes time to adopt a new habit. So I feel like this is, this is the compassion as, as well, again, coming through here. Kindness towards yourself. As you're making these choices to make changes, to, to give yourself freedom, to come back in or out, wherever it is that you're wanting to go, um, to make sure that you're also giving yourself time to rest or knowing that it's okay to rest. Because um, a lot of the times our, our society doesn't say that's okay, right? <laughs> um, if, I mean, here in the United States, we didn't have the Industrial Revolution, like we'd still be working 90, 100 hour weeks. You know what I mean? Um, it's important for you guys to allow yourself rest here too. And I am getting kind of reward is coming through. Uh, make sure that you are celebrating your small wins too. Whatever this plan is that you're working to accomplish, give yourself goalposts to get to. And as you hit those goalposts, treat yourself. Go buy a new outfit or um, go see a movie, you know, I, whatever it is that you're you're working to do, make sure that you're treating yourself for accomplishing things that are hard, okay? Because you have value and you're worth it. You deserve more than just the bottom of the pan. So good stuff for you guys. Two of Pentacles comes in. Um, I do feel like with, with that Four of Pentacles coming through your security, financial, financial, maybe career aspect, I do feel like this is more career for a lot of you, or for a lot of you it is career. Um, Balance is the two of pentacles. More balance between work and play. Maybe more balance between the pressure you're putting on yourself to produce versus allowing yourself to rest. I feel like this comes into better focus or this comes into better balance. And there's, it's not a static position, right? It's a dance. This is, um, I see this as flexibility. You guys are gaining more flexibility at this time to be patient with your own human nature, to be patient with the reality that things take time, okay? That there are things out of our control, like a jackhammer, <laughs> um, that happen and we, um, it's important for us to learn how to dance with that, right? We still have goals. We can't let things totally knock us off our path, even though we may have to sidestep or whatever keeping the original goal and focus is very important because you guys are worth that, okay? Wheel of Life comes through. Ooh, yay. Oh, yay, I love that. So I, I do feel with the Two of Pentacles, that balance. So this is um, change of fate, changing your fate. Um, it's a, a turn for the better, okay, you guys? Along the lines of the rest of this message, whatever's coming forward from your subconscious, this is telling me that like it's come you guys it's coming okay we do spiral up we do spiral down the wheel we don't control the wheel like i was saying things that are out of our control sometimes it turns for the worse sometimes it turns for the better to be human right i do get that this is turning for the better for you guys but this requires that you recognize that it's turning for the better too if you are pushing yourself to burn out with whatever this endeavor is, it doesn't matter if things are shifting for the better, if you don't have energy to enjoy that or to participate in the good things too, right? So I feel like there is a request, it's slow and set the hair, the rabbits on there, slow and steady wins the race, okay? Um, you don't have to, I'm getting this message of like, you don't have to run around the wheel. You can situate yourself more in the center as we're talking about balance here too, which allows you to feel less dizzy. <laughs> um, I just feel like there's a request here to balance your energy because things are gonna shift and you need to be ready to take advantage of that good energy too. Yish. So what you don't see coming, or what's in the dark for you guys, seven of swords. So seven of swords, this is um, it's like a sneaky theft betrayal kind of energy. Diplomacy, taking only what's needed. I feel like um, this can go well, multitudinous ways, right? But as things are shifting here, for the better, for you guys, 
it would be a crime <laughs> against you to not allow yourself rest, okay? Or to enjoy what's coming forward. So I feel like there's a, there is a request. Diplomacy is something that's standing out about this too. There may be a need, um, there may be a need for some of you to, I feel like this probably has more to do with work for whoever this is about. Um, there's a request for some diplomacy, okay? Like, you could bulldoze somebody or some situation, but it's asking you to only use the energy that's needed. And I feel like mostly that's because you deserve that energy. You need that energy for what it is that you're working towards. And if you're exerting it on something outside of where your heart is set, it's, it's wasting that energy, right? I'm seeing again, like that sidestep. Learning how to dance with more with more flexibility, okay? Um, Six of Pentacles comes in here next. So this is uh, another card about balance, actually. It's this give and take energy. Giving what we have to give, receiving when we need to receive. Again, this energy of only what is needed, okay? Yeah, rest, conservation of energy is something that's really coming through heavy here for me. In order for you to, mm, mm, okay, yeah, yeah. So this butterfly here, there's like a little gust of air that's bringing it up. Um, work smarter, not harder. This butterfly is using the surrounding environment to elevate it rather than flapping its own wings to get to where it needs to go. There's something about working smarter in a situation here. Okay, you guys. So the difficulty, your obstacle at this time, you guys have Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. So um, Queen of Swords is about honesty, being blunt but kind, pursuing, um, pursuing truth, intellect. It can, being in the obstacle here, I do feel like there is a request here to connect a little bit more with your heart. So back to this kindness and compassion. And I feel like this is towards you, okay, you guys? This sword here through the eyes is standing out to me as well. I feel like, back to the beginning of this message, there is an inability to see. The oven light <laughs> is broken, right? You can't turn the oven light on to see where the turkey's at. But you know that it's being cooked. Um, whatever's being gestated in the subconscious realm here right now, you can't see. You can't see it. It's dark. So there's a need to be um, to be patient and to wait for it to come forward. And that's difficult right now. Yeah. Feeling like you're walking blind. <laughs> but you're not blind, okay? You do have a spirit team that's also here helping, helping you when you can't see. Lean on them. So Page of Swords comes through. I love this because I was just talking about that in the beginning. Um, this is, this is a need to learn something new. Page of Swords is the student of the deck. Um, being in the obstacle, I do kind of get that more spy, I guess, looking, looking at, um, back to meditation, this captive audience. I think for some of you, maybe you're being watched. Um, this could be in a professional sense. Maybe you are... Uh, in the public eye in some way. Maybe it is your job to be watched. Maybe you are on YouTube here, um, have a blog, something like that. I feel like the difficulty here is you're feeling that heat, right? It's important to not let that break you, okay? I think that's why Four of Swords is coming through here with the rest. Take a rest when you need to take a rest. Don't let this pressure crush you, okay? Just because you can't see maybe the end goal right this second, or you feel that others are putting pressure on you, are watching your every move, don't allow yourself to put that same pressure on you too. 
Okay, back to what I was saying. We're not just pushing ourselves through something. It's really important to give ourselves compassion so that we have the energy to get up and go through something. Okay. All right, Scorpio, I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me here. I am going to move into the extended portion of this reading. If you want to join me there, there are links in the description of this video. If not, it was good to see you. Thank you guys for coming. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all great ways to support me in the growth of this channel, and I truly appreciate it. If you are looking for private readings, like I said, I have that in the description of this video too. My Cash App and PayPal links are in there as well. If you feel called to tip or donate, this reading resonated with you. I truly appreciate it, you guys. It goes a long way. So thank you, thank you. In the extended, we are going to look at direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and what is most likely being manifested for you at this time. Okay, Scorpio, you guys got this. You deserve more, all right? Allow yourself to, to know that. I love you. Be well.